We're here today with one of my clients and I reached out looking for somebody that could do a testimonial and she readily accepted. So stop by here today after her long day of work and go ahead and take it from there. Luke. I will. Hi, my name is Lou Nystrom and I'm a teacher. And a while back I was really interested in, in Wolf Industries or tiny homes, <clears throat> but I had committed to building an even smaller house. But what happened was when I got, I contacted a few contractors, they were really charging me a, a whole lot. And I started to learn more about Wolf Industries. Was it the similar size house? Yes, really? pretty yep. similar, yes. And I had land, but they would not accept, the county wouldn't accept a house on wheels. And then the more I started looking at his product, I really started liking it. And more than that is what I really liked was the ability, your honesty, your directness, and wonderful customer service and patience. Patience, a lot of patience. Because uh, this was gonna be my final home. I'm retiring and I wanted something that I can afford. You bet. My grandfather from the East Coast. Yeah, I'll go park the car in Brooklyn, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My roots go back a little ways. Um, glad to have you. The, the thoughts that kind of come to mind, if you were a new customer sitting on that side of the table or this side, and you were looking at a small home, what would you want to tell them? Well, I really want to tell you a couple of things. First, affordability. That's number one. Second... But let's, let's talk about that for a second, because mm -hmm. your price of your home was, you know, it was $200,000, right? Right. All in, complete. But we were doing septic systems, building roads, bringing in power, water, sewer, gas, developing land, and it was right at around 200000 yeah. Wow, that's a huge number for 600 square feet. How did you justify that in your head? Well, I justified it that a mortgage of $200,000 in the long run is more affordable than a mortgage than four fifty dollars or $500,000 when you're about to retire on a teacher's budget. Totally. And with that being said, someone might say, well, that's an insanely high cost per square foot. But... But you're getting quality... Um, your home is built within three to five months. Um, you have a home. You don't have to wait. You don't have to hire people to come clear the, clean the property after they're done building because there was not even a nail I had to pick up. When you guys delivered that house, it was ready. PUD, you know, that's the public service. They hooked it up. Yep. yep, and the water was hooked up, and it was ready to go. And... It didn't take forever, and I didn't have to sweat about interest rates, you know, steeping or coming off the roof. Everything was ready and done. My loan, everything was ready to go. And that's one of the things that I really appreciate yeah. because when you think about the cost of material and building, you know, a house pretty, bigger than... Pretty it's pretty, yeah, yeah, it's pretty expensive market. right now. You don't know what's going up or down. So I was really happy with the product, but most importantly, the quality of the product. Right. And what was going back to kind of that square footage conversation is, yes, it's expensive, but you have all of your expensive components shrunk into a small space. So your heating system, your front door, mm, your kitchen, true. your your appliances, all that stuff that you'd have in a big house, right, is still mm. fixed. But then you take out all the cheap square footage and you're left with all the expensive square feet in a small structure. Yeah, that's true. But if you're going to rent an apartment, it's going to be... Your mortgage is going to be about seventeen hundred, right now. I mean, at this point, where my mortgage is way lower than that. Do you mind sharing that, or is that yeah, roughly I, how much I, you, my, per month? My plus mortgage, or minus? my mortgage is about will be about thirteen hundred dollars. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Way to keep yeah, the teachers yeah, in check. Yeah, and <laughs> when you think about all the money that you invest in apartments, and you really are not gaining it's any not invest, equity. It's dump. Or yeah, that's right. You're dumping it in. <laughs> Um, you know, I have a small place. It's perfect. It's on an acre, 0.32 uh, land. I, I can garden. I can do what I want. And it's county approvable. So, and the quality of the house will last longer than a house so on wheels. You talked about quality, but what specifically? Because these people, they haven't seen it. Maybe they're watching it somewhere out and about, you know, public at large. They've never been to our factory. What's different when you walk into our house? What are, what are some of the things you, you, you refer to quality? I want specific stuff for people listening. Sure. Um, yeah. I looked at houses on wheels. I looked at, I'm not going to name certain companies that are 
locally here and in other countries that are out of state. And the problem with House on Wheels, it's a structure on wheel and the longevity of those types of houses are not very durable. And also you have air coming in from the bottom. Where modular is exactly like a home, it's, it's tied to a foundation, it's very similar to a home. And if you upkeep it, just like you do a regular home, it's gonna last a lifetime. So those are the things that I looked at. Two by six wall construction, mm -hmm. smooth drywall, yeah. everything built just like a regular home. Two pane windows. I mean, you have tall ceilings if you want to go with that model. You have metal ceilings if you want to put that on there. If, you the, know, the, the metal, house. The metal roof. The metal roof. Where you're Sorry, at. not yeah, ceilings. Yeah, yeah. There's a ceiling, right? Yeah. <laughs> the metal roof. And the thing is that I get a lot of snow where I'm at, and the house can withstand that. And that was another thing I was looking at. How durable. The snow load, 50, we had to go up to 50 pound snow load. That's, that's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And white salmon. So, you know, I decided to do this because I believe in this product. And after going back and forth with him for about four years, coming it wasn't in, that long. yeah, it was that long. I finally said, okay, I'm doing this. And I came into the factory and I viewed my little house and all the different stages. As it's being built. As it's being built and I got to pick what I wanted. And uh, that's also a nice thing to do where if you get a mobile home, the durability and also the toxic materials in a mobile home, that's another thing I looked at. It's not very good. So the modular the texture globules different. this big, don't they? Yeah, they we, do. We, have, we, we use smooth drywall on so our That's right, right. <laughs> smooth drywalls. So I looked at all that. I looked at the pros and cons of a tiny house on wheels, the pros and cons of a mobile home, and it came down to that this this could be delivered faster, and it's exactly like a stick built home. It's no different, and it's approved by the county. So that's key. What about the delivery and setup process? Is that, that you know, you were a little borderline summertime, there's no rain, right? Right. So, in terms of muddiness or some of the expectations set that way, a lot of times people can get a good grasp of the building and the house here, but what gets forgotten is how much work and effort gets done on site with foundations, right? Site work and so forth. Do you speak to I, that? What I do want to say that that was the most beautiful foundation I've ever seen. And also there was no nails, there was nothing left over. As they were pushing my house up the hill to deliver it, they cleaned up and they swept the road so I wouldn't lose any gravel. No one has ever done that before. So I know that you might not understand what I'm talking about if you've never built a house, but usually when they build a house, you have to go and pick up everything that's left over and it's all over the place. There was nothing left over. They even, wanted to seed my grass but the problem was that i bought a bags of clover instead so i said <laughs> don't use grass seed it's okay i have my own stuff to put down but that's the type of customer service that Careful, I you're setting the bar kind of i here, know though. i am setting yeah. the bar but it's true but okay. i loved it yeah. Yeah. so yeah. and you need to know that because all these little things if you go to a different contractor to build a house you, you have to provide the porter potties. You have to provide somebody to clean up. There's so many extra little things that when you look that at cost everything, adders. those costs add up. And you'll end up with the same cost or more where you can go with a different builder. So that, that's important for you to research that really well. Excellent. That's it. I, well, you summed it up awesome. Yeah. Lou, thank you for buying a house from us. It's been a pleasure to work with Four you. Four years, right? Oh, Going know. back and forth. It. Yeah, we, we did. did. So. so come and check out their homes because I I am sure that you will be happy. It's affordable. Um, I would totally do this instead of a house on wheels, instead of a mobile home, uh, instead of... Just keep it in mind uh, as an option, right? Yeah, exactly. Because you, you never know. You'll get a house really quick on your lot and they're professional and they're kind people and they're trustworthy. And that's that's a lot to say. Awesome, come check us out. We'd love to help you out and answer any questions you have, give you a tour of the shop, work up some quotes, no obligation, of course, and uh, yeah, go from there.